everybody. Welcome back to Andy's Speed Shop. Some time has passed. I lost a little facial hair. Um, we're going to get going on the MT-07. Today, we have some Givy crash guards. Um, whatever you want to call them. Engine protection, crash guards, whatever. I'm going to mainly use them for mounting some lights. And eventually, we'll have some... Um, We'll have some uh, foot pegs on them where I can stretch my legs a bit on the highway. So uh, we're just going to jump right into it, get these bars put on, uh, mock up how I want these lights set, and um, well, stick around if you want to watch. <laughs> That's one side done. Um, you can see how it's gonna look. Really excited to have these because um, this is the third time I've ordered these. First two times are from manufacturers, um, not manufacturers, but suppliers, both overseas because no one in the United States has them. Um, this one actually came off of eBay. I misses the guy before I bought it this third and final time. I was like, hey man, please just tell me um, that you have them before I order them because every other supplier I asked, um, well, I didn't ask. Every other supplier that I ordered from, um, the, the website claimed that they had them in stock when, you know, two weeks later, oh, sorry, we're refunding your money. We don't have them. Um, well, this guy on eBay had them, so shout out to eBay, baby. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm not going to make you watch that because that's boring. Um, and then we'll play with some possible light uh, mounting locations. Uh, of course, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm wanting to put some, some type of a peg on it somewhere for uh, stretching my legs. And, you know, I don't have pegs yet. I'll sit on it. Uh, maybe I don't, doesn't even need pegs. Maybe I can just throw my feet up on it at some point. Um, but I do want to play with lighting, um, options, because I like, um, I like the, the triangle of lights, uh, it helps you be seen, also, um, the, the different colors, so I've got LED in, you know, a, a nice bright white up here, and then some, uh, yellow LEDs down here, gonna really spread the light out and have different colors and help me be seen more easily so I'm gonna get uh, cracking on the other side and uh, we'll see what I come up with in the end for lighting all right so um, I spared you the uh, installation of the left side man I was a little disappointed on on the way uh, the bolt holes lined up um, from from Givy um, you'll see uh, I've got uh, pry bars and, and tools that I shouldn't have had out because it was quite the stretch to get these two to line up um, and I had the same problem with this side once I got once I got this one mounted it was quite the stretch for me to reach this bolt so I had the pry bar back here and I was you know, up against the engine case and prying the crash bar back toward its destination. It was kind of a pain. Um, and I had to end. I ended up getting my wife to come out and help me stand the bike up because um, my lift is uh, it's it's occupied right now. So you will need either a center stand or someone to help keep the bike up for you because the kickstand needs to be removed and um, you get new hardware 
it's longer and uh, it goes back through the kickstand and your new crash bar um, other than the difficulty of installation uh, I really like the end result think it's gonna offer some good protection not that I plan on using it and um, it's also gonna mount some lights I've got one mocked up here where you can kind of see maybe what my intention is with it so you'll see that that triangle of of lighting that is easily um, seen by other drivers and uh, and like I said you're gonna have yellows down here and your white up here it's just gonna really um, you know yeah help me be seen um, so this is a mock-up of where I think I want my lights to go. Um, I don't think that it, l it looks gaudy. I don't think it's ugly, especially when it's not on. You may not even know it's there unless you're really familiar with the bike. And I don't have um, any highway pegs yet. So I'll show you what my plan is, possibly for the uh, the pegs I want to add. They make ADV style pegs that mount to a tube and they fold up and when they're folded uh, folded out they hang out like this when you fold them up they hug the bar and they're kind of uh, camouflaged. Anyway I'm thinking that I want them down here um, something like down in this corner somewhere so that when I flip them out I can have my leg uh, completely stretched out so I can go from standard riding position to man it's been 40 miles on this straight road I really need to stretch the legs boom there you go you've got uh, a solution for that so I'm happy with the Givy crash bars um, I think that I'm happy with that that light location I've not done any wiring I don't have a switch yet uh, the switch will not be bit you know visible um, to anyone who doesn't know where it is so it's not gonna be ugly um, but there you go uh, whether you like it or not that's what I've done with my MT-07 it's gonna make daily driving it and touring on it um, much easier for me um, you can see I'm not utilizing my top rack here, um, but I can if I want to mount the uh, Nelson rig bag back there. And then all of a sudden I've got a little more capacity. So that's it for today. <sighs> um, I've been getting a little hate on the whole MT-07 touring thing. But man, it's just fun to ride. And now I'm gonna be able to ride it a, a distance and pack my gear, pack clothes, whatever I'm doing. Um, it's a touring bike that'll wheelie through three gears. So I'm pretty happy with it. And right now I'm approaching 2000 miles and it's um, coming up toward the end of March. We had some warmer days at the beginning of this year and then we got our second winter around the beginning of March, or I would have more miles on it. But it's starting to warm up a little. I say a little. The afternoons are great. I rode this morning to work and it was 29 degrees when I left the house, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, um, what, like three or four degrees below freezing. It's cold, it sucks. But the afternoons make it worth it. So I'm gonna sign off here and um, uh, I'll, I don't know, I'll upload a little short thing for uh, when I get lights wired and uh, my progress with all that. Alright guys, later.